Thank you for that uh, kind introduction. Uh, could I just add a couple of other things? Um, I'm chair of the Indian Ocean Research Group, which is um, an observer to the Indian Ocean Rim Association. Um, Curtin University has recently appointed two professors of Indian Ocean Studies, both of us for fractional appointments for a five-year period, but our goal is to set up a new Center for Indian Ocean Studies, which we will do within the next two or three years. And I'm hoping to count on your support in order to facilitate this. We want this to be an inclusive center. We're not in competition with anyone, and we would like maritime security to be one of the several research thrusts of the, of the new center. I'm also founding editor of an important international journal. Some of you might be aware of this, the Journal of the Indian Ocean Region, which has been uh, going now for four years. Um, we're always interested in receiving good copy and uh, new subscriptions. In one sense, this final session six, a role for IONS collaborative capacity building, is the most important of this entire meeting. Perhaps, misquoting uh, Peter Lockheed, the very sharp end. We've discussed at length the need, indeed the requirement for collaboration. We almost take that as a given. Many of the so-called security threats identified by Jane Chan are of the non-traditional, so-called non-traditional type. Collaboration in the multifaceted aspects of maritime security will necessarily lead to a reduction in the intensity of traditional security threats, I would argue. Since the Indian Ocean is the ocean of the South, the need for capacity building among, among most regional states is paramount. Again, I would take that as a given. IONS potentially has a very important role to play in this process, as I try to indicate in my question, potentially in collaboration with the Indian Ocean Rim Association, however, for what form that might take. So what form of regional maritime security framework might eventuate? Like Jane, I also have some dreams. Jane has identified some models, others remain to be developed. We're very fortunate in our final session to have with us two experienced policy practitioners who can give us some further guidance on this important question. Our first speaker is Madam Suryani Ahmed, who is Under Secretary of Policy and Strategic Planning in the Malaysian Ministry of Defense. Madam Suryani was the Malaysian co-chair of the ADMM Plus Experts Working Group on Maritime Security during 2011-2013, so a great deal of experience to draw from and draw on. She will speak uh, on the title Lessons for IONS from the ADMM Plus Maritime Security Experts Working Group. Please welcome Madam Suryani Ahmad. <laughs> 